Hello people, today I'm going to be talking about how to actually sort of get a better setup for Linux for like one of your old computers. Um, for those unaware, Action Retro basically did a video trying to do pretty much the same thing, but um, I wouldn't recommend using Ubuntu for like an older computer. Um, what I would actually use, you can already see the logo, um, is Nobara. Why Nobara? Well, basically, for the way you have more up to date packages, um, it's going to be um, a lot nicer out of the box, and yeah. So what I recommend, I don't, this is quite important, I wouldn't necessarily recommend going for the official or the GNOME variant, but instead, of go, but instead going to the KDE variant, which is what I've done here. And then what you would probably do is not actually use Plasma. What I'd recommend is if you're using Mate, or if you're into a tiling window merger like willing to go into that route I free or sway those are my recommendations so um, for those unaware how to get into another desktop what you just gotta do is you go onto the login screen of whatever you got and there will usually be some little thing telling you how to change it in this case is this drop down menu um, looks like it's not been installed properly because for some reason DNF has been slightly playing up but imagine you're going into Mate or i3 instead okay um, you've got all the customization it's way lighter than GNOME or plasma and way better than the you've been to Gnome I'd imagine. But yeah, um why I'm recommending this instead of Fedora, um so by default Fedora doesn't have like certain repository repositories enabled by default. It's really weird, I don't understand why. So, for example, you can't install VLC without enabling certain repositories, and you also have like problems with codecs due to like nonsense pattern law software pattern law that shouldn't exist. So, they don't exist. I was done here. Yes, you won't get by default. There will be a pop up when you first boot asking, "Do you want to install these extra?" code decks and you just hit a button wait for it and boom problem solved you'd have to like manually type in with the things you need to install for your codex it's amazing another thing is you might be using nvidia now on the website it does warn you that please like only the latest NVIDIA drivers supported and older NVIDIA hardware is not compatible with the driver that is not supported on no bar and it's linked to supported hardware now this link isn't the greatest thing now for some weird reason my Firefox is playing up don't ask why it's just not wanting to launch any other websites amazing right but basically e, the drivers currently go all the way down to the 700 series which is like 2012, 2013 oh it's actually loaded yeah so if you go into here it'll tell you so yeah you've got your display driver and you just hit support products and yeah there's like all your supported products um, yeah 700 series and you know so it's not horrible it's not the greatest they could do better but 
it supports quite a lot of cards and it probably does the job um, on if you were to use normal fedora you'd have to like fiddle about um, to install the NVIDIA drivers I can't really remember what it's like because last time I did that was like over two and a half years ago so I can't really say but it was really annoying I remember like yeah so out of the box your computer will be like running Minecraft at like 6 FPS on like a 1050 Ti i7 to 90 or something like that and yeah that was basically because it was using the open source Novi drivers that just don't run very well at all yeah so it's like recommended editions um, you know optional steps install title drivers xbox one drivers davinci resolves fix up proton ge look and feel login manager new themes icons i mean just easy and yeah oh pete's and loving the that's not a name that i've heard for a while anyways yeah, so I'd recommend using Mate or i3, not Plasma or Gnome, but I'd probably choose KDE for the ISO because Gnome's really resource intensive. Um, yeah, I think that's really it for my recommendations. Just don't use Ubuntu for like a, what is it, a 16 year old iMac, that's really all I can say. Um, why also another reason I'm not recommending Arch because I've used it for like over a year um, the installs just constantly broke Pac-Man kept on constantly giving the invalid or corrupted PGP signature error which is there is a fix but like it is like a single command to be fair but it just shouldn't be a problem in the first place for god's sake so that's why i don't recommend arch and yeah that's gonna be it for today goodbye